More car drama. The kids put toys in the fish tank. Like, I could have sworn I, I had it in my hands. Where did it go? Gosh, this is like the worst. I was in the bathroom and I come out. Oh no, the fish are scared of my toys. Are the fish are scared of your toys. What are your toys doing oh in this God. fish tank? Okay, let's get these out of here. Okay, hold on, let me get a bucket. Rosalyn, get off that table. Let's put toys in the fish tank. What is even happening right now? Oh, then how did they get in the fish tank then, Rosalyn? Hmm? They put them in the fish tank. Oh, baby sister did it all by herself? Oh my gosh, you guys. Ugh. Okay, let me set you down. Oh my gosh, that was just like a ton of toys that got dumped into the fish tank. Irene, listen, we do not put toys in the fish tank, okay? Went fishing and got all of this out of here. Now you guys, this is, this happened in the amount of time it took me to go to the bathroom. <sighs> trying to be patient, Just testing my patience a little bit. But yeah, my uh, kids are dropping stuff in the fish tank. So I guess I need to move that play table a little bit farther away. Fish. Yeah, it's, yeah, there's fish in there. Especially considering that this fish, he's venomous. So we really don't want kids dipping their hands in there. Not like super venomous. I hear it feels like a bee sting. Like it's not going to like send you to the hospital or anything like that. But uh... No. Don't put toys in the fish tank and don't stand on the table. Come here, honey. Come here, no. Let's, let's go over to the couch. Come here. That is literally the opposite of what you want. Um, okay, Roslyn, tell us what happened. You tell the story. Don't pick your nose, though. They still put my toys in the tank and tried to stop but she didn't listen to me. She didn't listen when you tried to stop her? Yeah, so I'm in there, I'm in the bathroom. Rosalind comes busting in, she has her shoe, which is soaking wet, and she goes, Mama, baby sister put my shoe in the fish tank. So I hurry up, finish my business, and come back out here, and the tank is full of toys. We don't put things in the tank, Irene. No, 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 no. You're right, sometimes babies don't listen. That's pretty frustrating. And sometimes big girls listen. That's right, big girls do listen. But babies don't. Babies don't always listen. Anyways, um, good morning, guys. I, I hope that you all are having a I lovely mean, day. Too. Oh, you want to vlog with me? Come on. Oh. <laughs> I hope that you guys are you having a lovely day. Too. Well, I can't lift both of you and hold the camera, so why don't you stand here and hold my hand instead? Here, we'll do this, okay? I hope that you guys are having a lovely day. <laughs> the girls and I have just been ha hanging out here at home because we, again, don't have a car. But this morning was really, really hectic. Hi. Yeah. Picture, you want to take a picture down? We'll all hold hands together like this, okay? okay. You want to dance, Irene? Okay. Yeah. Okay, let me finish telling the story real quick, okay? Or you and Big Sister can dance together. Sister, okay. you two, now, dance, 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 dance. <laughs> Gentle, gentle, Rosalind, gentle. Anyways, this morning has already been hectic. We had the fish tank incident, um, but it took me a little while to get the vlog up this morning, which was a little frustrating. If you didn't see it, you need to check it out because it's been, it was a really, really interesting update to the car saga situation. I'm really frustrated about it. Um, so definitely check that video out if you haven't because it did go up a little bit late yesterday. And hit the bell so you never miss a video. But what happened this morning is more car drama. So Ken left his phone charger at work yesterday so his phone was actually completely dead this morning which was fine because he's like ah, I'm just gonna go back to work and I'll charge it once I get there. I get a text like half an hour after he's supposed to already be at work and he says my tire blew out so yeah his tire blew out while he was at work or on his way to work so he was late to work and he didn't have a cell phone to call work and tell them that he was running late so flat tire on top of 
everything else that's happening. Anyways, I just got off the phone with him. He's on his way to the dentist right now. He's getting his teeth taken care of. Hey babe. Hey, what's up? I missed a call from you. Irene hid my phone. What's up? Oh, I'm just, I was just calling to check in, but no, I have a dentist right now getting my teeth cream. So I'll call you back on that. How's the car? Um, well, one of the tires is shredded. So after this one, you get a bitch can't see if can squeeze me in. Okay. All right. Okay, bye. Love you bye. too. Bye. And then he's going to try and stop off at a tire place and get our only working car. A new tire. <laughs> I'm just trying to pretend I'm... Everything's going to be okay. It'll be fine. But man, all this car problem is stressful and also costing us a lot of money. So that's really annoying. Hi, fishies. I got everything out of the tank. And hopefully everyone's going to be okay. Whether or not the toys will be okay is another question. But... Like, I don't think this book, I don't think that's going to make it. Fortunately, it's just a cheap book, but. <sighs> kids, kids will drive you crazy. Toddlers especially. Um, I'm driving. It's night. I'm driving back to work because I'm 90% sure I left my laptop there, um, which I borrowed from my lovely sister. And I w am... <clears throat> terrified to uh, potentially lose and so I was like oh my goodness I like remember packing it up and then because I was using it to work on some stuff packing it up and I had it with me as I was leaving for the day and it's a separate case and I think I just left it on my desk but I'm not sure and I don't want to risk that maybe like it gets like picked up by a kid or something in the morning so I'm on my way back and it's like 8 30. I'm back in my classroom, and it's not here on my desk. I'm not sure where it's at, and I'm uh, I'm pretty stressed out about it. Um, <clears throat> well, I'm, for starters, it's not mine, um, and I'm really, really frustrated with myself. It's like I could have sworn I I had it in my hands. Where did it go? And I'm like, did it get nicked from the car? Um. So, um, I don't know what the plan is, um, I'm gonna, I've, I've been all over the place today, um, I've been to dentist, discount, all, all over the place, um, and, uh, it's really hard to see that corner right there, that's it. Good news, I found it. It is safe and sound. It's in another teacher's classroom. <laughs> I was like, just, I was just, I was lamenting and I was like, I've been all over the place, it could be anywhere. And then I remembered that I've also been to a lot of classrooms today. And I was like, I had it in my hands when I was talking to another teacher and that's the last place I had it. And sure enough, it's in their classroom uh, behind a locked door because we don't have keys to each other's rooms. Um, so, I'm going to shoot that person a text message and let them know uh, that first thing in the morning that computer is mine and please do not let a student nick it. Um, and yeah, oh, I feel a lot better now. Um, yeah, okay, well, yeah, okay, I'm going to go home now. Oh, jeez, oh, I feel so much better now. Oh, okay, maybe I can find a janitor. Um, maybe one of the custodians is available and uh, they can let me in. Grab it real quick. Oh, sweet, sweet Pythagorean theorem. Thank goodness for this. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. I am so grateful. <laughs> the custodial staff is so great, so awesome here. <laughs> yeah, they're like, oh, yeah, it's no problem. They just pop the door open. I just grab it and I was like, yay, okay, we're good to go now. Okay, I can sleep tonight. I was like, oh man, I was so stressed out. I'm gonna go home now. My heart's still just racing. Um, yeah, okay, let's go home. <laughs> and I forgot my notebook. So, you know, second reason why it's good to come back. 
So I'm editing together uh, yesterday's vlog and I'm hanging out with Apollo here and I realized that we did not end it. So yesterday was just like the hugest, it's just like conflict after conflict. So um, our tire is now fixed. Ken has gone to the dentist. Um, the fish tank is looking pretty good. And I don't know if you caught that whole storyline, but Ken completely lost his sister's laptop. Fortunately, he was able to find it. So lots of problems. They all got solved, I guess. Um, but tomorrow's video, I really think that you guys should make sure you hit the bell so you don't miss because, um, it's the next morning now and things are already going awry with Talitha's car and the whole, is this a scam thing? So if you haven't seen yesterday's video, you definitely want to check it out. Uh, subscribe so you don't miss tomorrow's video and hit the bell so that you'll get notifications as soon as it goes up. Also, YouTube thinks that you should probably check out this video and maybe this one. You can subscribe right here. I'd love it if you did that and we'll see you later. <laughs> Bye guys.